I want to read a scripture. Tim, would you put uh, John 15, 13, not in the Amplified, in the New King James. I'll read it out of the Amplified. No one has greater love and no one has shown stronger affection than to lay down and give up his own life for his friends. Of course, our template is the Lord Jesus Christ because this is exactly what he did for us. And that's why we can call him Lord because of his sacrifice for the world. But I want to, we're honoring a man, and I want to talk to you about one of our heroes of faith. Have you noticed that in the course of human history, God reaches into the sea of humanity, so to speak, and he raises up a man or a woman who has the boldness and the anointing, the alacrity, the ability, even the eloquence, to speak against the evils of a culture. And he has, or her, she or he, has the fervor to turn a nation around, especially when that nation has transgressed the heart of God in the treatment of people. God raises up a man or a woman. He puts fire in their mouth to turn the tide of a society that's going in the wrong direction. Really, all God is looking for is a man or a woman, a vessel who will humble themselves unto God and do his will. And in the 1960s, that man was Martin Luther King Jr., who's who we are celebrating by a national holiday tomorrow. He helped to draw attention to the inequities that were going on in America that, that in these days are just appalling when we look back. We can hardly imagine man's inhumanity to man that was going on in America. But with his help, the greatest piece of legislation happened in the 20th century, which was the Civil Bill of Rights. This was the most important legislation that happened. And I want to play a clip. This is a clip of his dream speech, because I want to play another clip after that. But when he was, before he spoke, I have a dream. You all know that speech, right? I have a dream. It's priceless. It's about six minutes. Before he spoke that, he was standing at the pulpit at a platform, and he had his notes. And Mahalia Jackson, do you all remember her? He had his notes in front of him, and she yelled out, Martin. Tell us your dream. Preach your dream. Tell us your dream. And he took his notes and he put his notes aside. And he went with the Spirit of God and he spoke this speech. Now we're just going to take a, a snippet of it. But this is the speech that he spoke by the Spirit of the living God. Thank you. 
the sons of former slave owners, will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. Amen. Do you remember Governor George Wallace, who so heartily stood against the civil rights movement? Well, I want to tell you, we all were appalled at him. Of course, we're in the North. Different mindset. But he got saved before he died. Did you know that? And he repented deeply for his opposition to this movement. Isn't that wonderful news? All right, now would you play the other clip? Because I think this is so significant. Now, do you realize that he was speaking prophetically as a prophet? He, he saw somehow his own death. He understood that he wouldn't be on this earth long. And so he was speaking to the people. He had been on the mountain. That means he had a visitation from God. And he clearly saw that his life would be short. God does nothing but he reveals his will to his servants, the prophets. So I would say that he was, he was a prophet. He was a prophet of that time that God had to have as a catalyst to turn our nation around from the shame of, in, of, of the uh, ignominy that it happened to the black people. The, the shame that our country was involved in. Since the Civil War, the Civil Rights Bill was the greatest piece of, for humanity that we have given to America. And so we want to honor people like this because he did lay down his life for the brethren. And we thank him for that. And we will never forget. One man, one woman, by example, can turn the course of a nation. And I would say that it's the body of Christ now who will, as a people group, turn the course of America and of the world. Because the greatest move of God is right on the horizon. And it's a move that will be a game changer for the world. Because there's a new anointing that's coming that will raise up the body of Christ and give them a core and a fiber hitherto not seen and known, with few exceptions. And it's coming, it's coming, body of Christ. Prepare and be ready for it. You can't be left out of this move that's coming. As surely as night follows day, there's a move of God that will be unequaled, unparalleled in human history. 
and the things that God has planned for his body and the exploits. And he will use little people, people like you and I, to turn the course of human history, to bring down the onslaughts. Oh, there will be. But there will be such a rise in the majesty and the glory of who Jesus Christ is that the world will be astonished. And if this one man can turn a nation around, then what can a whole body of Christ do in the world? And that's us. That's all of us collectively. So, Father, we thank you that you have given us this man of God to show us all the way and to stand up and be heroes for Christ against all odds. And we thank you for the days that you have planned for all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.